are more mysteries to Jiren than meets the eye, but the question lingers, where does Jiren's power truly come from? Has Jiren, just as Goku and Vegeta did, trained with his angel and Hakaishin in achieving this great level of power? Or if in fact this is something that solely comes from Jiren in never having to ever have trained with his gods in obtaining such abilities? Is Jiren aware of the ultra instinct technique and power that puts him relative to Goku? Or is Jiren simply that powerful that he doesn't know nor need to rely on such a tactic in order to keep up with the likes of Goku. On today's video, myself and members of the Dragon Ball community are going to be diving more in depth with Jiren's origins in talking about his training, in asking the question if in fact he had any sort of significant training with his gods, if so, how significant was it, and of course, putting Jiren relative to the ultra instant power. And also, don't forget to go on ahead and punch that subscribe button, guys, and enable all notifications on this channel. That way, you guys will be notified whenever a Dragon Ball spoiler, leak, or discussion video Video is posted onto this channel, hashtag Dragon Ball Squad. So I wanted to go on ahead and take the time to welcome everyone in this Discord chat to this overall discussion, as we are going to primarily be focusing on Jiren, in specific his feats, in posing the question if whether or not Jiren had received training from his gods, in specific Vermal or Margarita, similar to how Goku had received training from Whis. So I wanted to start with Bubbles in asking you on whether or not you believe personally that Jiren had received training from the gods in order to refine his power that much more because we saw based on the one hour special how the other gods were talking about Goku and Jiren in specifically pointing out the idea that these two warriors could not have been this powerful just on basic training alone. We understand that Goku had gone through significant training with Whis, weirdly enough, never having to train with Beerus one-on-one. -on -one. We saw how Goku fought Beerus twice, first time being Battle of Gods, and the second time having to be when he was in the Monaka suit, but that doesn't really count, I guess you could say, as Goku versus Beerus fully. But nonetheless, Goku was never shown actually training with Beerus as he was with Whis, but here, I feel as if things might be a tad bit different in the idea that one of the reasons why Jiren is so powerful is because unlike Beerus to Goku in terms of having a relationship, Verma actually has a very close relationship with Jiren and providing him with the necessary information and training to make him as refined of a fighter as we've seen thus far in this tournament. So where do you see Jiren in terms of placement? Where do you see Jiren in terms of knowing about Ultra Instinct? Because after seeing Jiren fight Goku, it's safe to assume that Jiren is not using Ultra Instinct, but even then, he's keeping up with somebody who already knows what that power is. And, and as seen by the other gods' expressions, they were all dumbfounded as to how such a mortal like Goku was able to achieve such a technique and a power that not even they could have achieved. So where do you stand in all of this, and what's your overall opinion on Jiren and his feats going forward in the Tournament of Power. I think that Jiren has for sure trained with his god, um, trained with Vermoun. I say this because um, we see how we actually saw a clip of Vermoun talking to Jiren kind of as if he were his conscience and he just looked overly close with Jiren uh, like he knew uh, Jiren was one of their trump cards, one of their really strong competitors uh, and he just seemed very close with Jiren right. uh, like he had already had um, an established relationship before the tournament uh, it seemed like you know Vermound was already very familiar with Jiren uh, before the tournament and not that he just picked him up out of nowhere because um, you know I think that I think that all of the Pride Troopers must have some sort of an established relationship already with Margarita and Vermound because right. we saw in the Zen exhibition match that uh, Topo stood with Vermound and Margarita and the um, Kai from their universe. Right. And now we're seeing we're seeing Vermound in several takes talking as if he is a part of Jiren's conscience, uh, telling him to beat Goku and exactly what he has to do. So I think that that does signal that somewhere along the line, there had to have been training with Jiren and his god. So we saw how Goku trained with Whis mostly than Beerus because he fought Beerus, I, I guess you can count it twice, because when Beerus, the second time around when he fought Goku was when he was in the Monaka outfit, but that doesn't right. really count as anything. But mainly we only saw Goku encounter Beerus once in a one-on-one -on -one battle, never again, but mostly training with Whis. 
and we've seen how much his training has gotten out like gotten him uh, like up until this point but so are you implying that Jiren must have trained mainly with Vermout than Margarita unlike how Goku trained with you know Whis as opposed to training with Beerus because you know we understand that Goku had went through a lot in terms of development to get to where he is but would you say that Jiren in your opinion, train with Vermont more than Margarita, or would you say it's kind of like the same thing to where he possibly even trained with both? Because there is there is no you know real explanation as to how you defy this character. He literally breaks all the laws of physics. I mean, even with Hit, with Goku, uh, we saw how you know even Vado says that you know uh, Jiren even surpasses you know time itself with his feats, with his power. We saw how he was able to blitz Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20 Goku and just also blitz hit to the point where he wrung him out so in your opinion do you think he mainly trained with Vermout since they have such a close relationship and he's very proud of his troopers or do you think that he kind of you know did a one-off training thing with Vermout and did his own thing on the side I would go ahead and say that he trained with both because I think from what we can see with the training of Goku and Whis that Goku's abilities, uh, Ultra Instinct, um, all of that is essentially a product of his training with Whis, and I think that a lot of his strength did come from did come from the training with Whis um, on right. Goku's side. So I would I would like to say that a lot of the strengths and techniques that Jiren could have possibly picked up would have come from Margarita, but I also think that it does help that. Um, because I'm not sure if this would just be for, since we see Beerus as a very lazy, like, sleeping um, sleeping majority of the time character, instead of a very hands-on god that um, is consistently training uh, with his pupils, I guess you would call him. Um, because Vermon, Vermoud might be, um, might be more of, like, he wants to get into the training because he knows it'll benefit him as well. Right. Now, would you say as a whole that Jiren is familiar with the concept of what Ultra Instinct is and simply doesn't need it because, if anything, Jiren is the closest thing we've seen to a very broken character. We understand that the Omni King is the Omni King. Zeno is very powerful in his own right. Not in terms of, I would say, combat-wise, but in terms of feats. Zeno is able to wipe out multiple universes just within the blink of an eye, just because of a mood change. And we understand that the Grand Priest is said to be, if anything, the second most powerful character in Dragon Ball, which even places him above the angels, in which the angels are placed above the gods. So seeing Jiren keep up with Goku, while Goku had broken through that barrier in having to master what self-movement and self-awareness is, would you say that Jiren knows of what Ultra Instinct is and not needing it just simply because he's too powerful? Or would you say that probably on the down low he knows of it and possibly has it to his disposal in using it whenever it comes to mind for him to need it in terms of battling specific people who are either relative to him or just below it? What are your overall thoughts on that concept? Because it's hard to fathom such a character like Jiren who is tremendously powerful in his own right not knowing what it is and there are specific people or certain people in the community that feel like he has it. Some people believe he doesn't have it. People are very torn by this. And for anyone out there who is wondering, Jiren is on a comparative level to a Hakaishin or a God of Destruction based on Toei's description of him on his bio for their website. And of course, according to Whis, saying that he is the mortal that rivals the gods. So with that being said... How does he rival Ultra Instinct, and do you believe he has it, or just what's your entire take on that concept? I think he for sure knows of it, because we've we've seen Goku and, and Vegeta with just their very limited time working on getting to train with Whis, right. that they knew of it, and that it was foreshadowed that Ultra Instinct was a thing, and they've only been training with Whis for probably not even nearly as long as Jiren was training with uh, Vermont and, and Margarita. Uh, so I do believe that that's something that Jiren would know of. However, whether he has it or not, I don't think is going to be important. I don't think that I don't think Ultra Instinct would be something that would benefit Jiren, just because from what we've seen of him so far, it does not look like he needs it at all. I feel like even if he were to have it, I don't even think he would need to use it ever because he's able to completely smash Goku and in Ultra Instinct and not 
not have to think twice about his actions that I honestly think that even if he had Ultra Instinct, it wouldn't be something that would come in handy for him because I I do believe his training must go beyond that for him to be this good right off the bat. Honestly speaking, the only other character that I can think of right now that was very unique in his own right was Merge Zamasu because when Merge Zamasu was presented, he not only was very powerful in terms of taking on two Super Saiyan Blues and besting them, but also what made him unique was his immortality. Here, we see Jiren best up Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken times 20 Goku alongside Hit the Assassin effortlessly without even you know, using his reserve or using all of his power because it's safe to assume that he has not gone all the way. And I personally feel like Jiren is the epitome of what a prodigy fighter is, aside from probably Frieza, and that's what makes Jiren so unique. Even Frieza pointed out to Goku in saying, well, I need you to keep working because particularly that monster Jiren is what I want to avoid. So even Frieza himself recognizes that Jiren is a complete walking monster and the idea that you don't want to confront this man in battle and I personally feel one of the reasons for that is because seeing what he did against Goku and Hit, assumingly not using his full power, kind of puts everyone else in a position to where you don't want to fight him because you already know the end result and seeing him be relative to Ultra Instant Goku and keeping up blow for blow makes things that much more interesting in the idea that I think he knows of what Ultra Instant is, but I don't think he needs it to be compared to Goku when it comes down to hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. But with that being said, I wanted to go on ahead and jump to Fallen and asking you your overall thoughts on Jiren and if you believe in your opinion that Jiren had received training from his god or if anything training with Margarita as well, similar to how Goku was training with Whis and your overall take on his power because as pointed out by the gods from the other universes it's not normal for these two fighters to be as strong as they are without having to receive any sort of significant training from gods so what's your overall take on that and of course your overall take on Jiren and possibly knowing about what Ultra Instinct is and if you believe personally that he knows of it but simply doesn't need it thank you for having me on but like in terms oh, of in terms of training with the god Probably he trained with Vermout a lot because given Vermout's limited time, it seems he's more intimate and close with Vermout than the Angels. In contrast to Goku and Vegeta where Beerus is more lazy, but Whis is more willing to fight them and or, or, and or smile with them. Um, in terms of Ultra Instinct, if, if he has Ultra Instinct, then where does the plot go? I mean, like, this guy is already a walking hack. He can attack you by looking at you. Like, that's how powerful he is. He may know of the concept, but I'm like, plot-wise, he, he he can't have it. Like, he legit cannot have it. Would that make him too much uh, of an overpowered like, character? Like, where would you go then? Like, where would you go? Well, in terms of plot, he would be, if anything, one of the most powerful characters within Dragon Ball, if, in fact, he also has the strength factor, the speed factor, and, of course, Ultra Instinct. But where do you see the plot going then, if, in fact, he does know of it and is possibly using it? Because, for me... I think he definitely knows of it. It's kind of wacky to assume that he knows it because, again, that would make him so OP'd. And people in Dragon Ball, or at least in the community, they want to see someone relative to Goku. They want to see someone beat Goku down. Goku's always the one walking away victorious. And here comes someone who's soloing not just Goku, but also soloed Hit as well. Uh, what's your what's your take on that like, in terms of plot? If in fact he does know of it and is using it in some way, shape, or form, how do we stop him then? Like, what's your take on that? If in terms of plot, like it wouldn't make sense for him to use it, like or have it at all. He's just that powerful. Because again, many people say like, well, he he was casually taking Ultra Instinct. I'm like, the thing with Ultra Instinct is it seems to be functioning similar to Mystic Gohan, where you can't stack on Super Saiyan. It's just its own form. But like, it went similar to the Goku versus Beerus fight, where Goku was still getting learned, like he was still getting used to learning Super Saiyan God. And then when he did learn how to use it properly, then he put up a fight. But Goku in this fight, he kind of just got the power up and was like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. And then we all know what happened. He reached the limit, and then he just kind of got blasted off. He go, he Goku in his lim in his new form is equal to Jiren because the plot. If Jiren has Ultra Instinct himself, then that's ridiculous. Then the, I'm like, I, I'm lost. Then like, how are you going to beat someone that can speed blitz you by literally staring at you? Has barriers and is basically has no weak points at all. Regardless of how you see it, he, we're getting another ending where it's not going to make any sense and. 
Goku just gonna win because of plot. That's it. Like I cannot explain. That's to only you assuming how. if he is gonna win. Do you think that Goku really is gonna win by the end of this? Given the plot circumstances and how Super has been going, most likely Goku's gonna win because if he doesn't, then I don't know where the story goes from here. Because logic dictates that there's gonna be another arc after this. Right. So you have to figure out how to top Jiren, and then it just gets even more ridiculous. Well, I definitely see your point in the idea that. It's kind of like the measuring stick now for Dragon Ball that Goku needs to overcome in terms of meeting someone like Jiren and possibly surpassing him. And I agree. I think that if, in fact, you know, he does know about Ultra Instinct and is using it in some way, shape, or form, that places him above so many different characters in the show that nobody else, realistically, aside from the Angels, the Grand Priest, and Zeno, would be compared to him if he did, in fact, know about Ultra Instinct and what it is and is using it in some way, shape, or form. To which, any case if Whis was able to teach Goku and Vegeta about this in the idea that this was taught to them or introduced to them back during ROF it's safe to assume that perhaps maybe the same thing occurred to Jiren as Vermood or even Margarita had told him and informed him about it but unlike Goku and Vegeta he was one to actually learn this because it is said that Vermout is very proud of his pride troopers he is a god of destruction who reveres and truly praises his warriors and I can see why especially with Jiren but I want to go on ahead and jump to Danny and asking you what are your overall thoughts on if you believe Jiren in fact trained with the gods and if so do you believe that explains the level of feats that we've seen in Dragon Ball Super when it comes down to his power or if you believe differently that he may have not and also your concept and your thoughts on Ultra Instinct if you believe he knows of it or perhaps knows about it because as I said before you cannot compete with Goku after obtaining such an ability and still being able to rival him either he knows it or he knows about it but either way it's undoubtable that he is on a comparative level with him so what's your take on that primarily focusing on the gods and if you believe they train them if so why and if not how do you explain Jiren's overwhelming power in the tournament with him not receiving training from his own gods i i don't think jiren trained with him i don't think i just don't think that jiren trained with him i don't think he would be interested in that i think he's the type of guy like like in his little card that was revealed a few days or weeks ago whenever was that he's proud of his power and somebody's proud of their power i don't think they're going to go out their ways to have somebody help them get that power i don't think jiren went to them is all i just don't think he trained with the gods i don't think that is something that would interest him so what you're saying is he's more of a cutoff character in your opinion that simply he trained on his own to reach the caliber of what it means to be even a Hakaishin because I'm sorry to say I disagree with your concept on this because seeing a mortal being able to even impress a god of destruction and having the god of destruction himself praise you so much so to where he's even saying there's nobody on his level raises more questions and answers because then it's like what kind of training did he really do and it's not impossible to say that he couldn't have done this training on his own people tend to forget that frieza accomplished his golden form just by training for four months and that's frieza being the prodigy so what you're essentially saying is that perhaps maybe jiren had done his own training on the side possibly being his own prodigy um you know being able to improve so much so quickly that you think he never needed the help of the gods to reach this kind of power so how do you explain him keeping up with ultra instant goku then do you believe that he knows the technique or power or do you think he doesn't simply need it or know of it but instead it's just raw tenacity i think he's just that strong i don't think he he probably like knows of it because he's he's probably talked to topo before he probably knows about it probably knows what it is but i don't think he doesn't know it he definitely does not know it and on the whole thing with his eyes which a lot of people are saying oh he has special eyes he's just channeling energy through his eyes that's a common technique used by a lot of people in the series piccolo can shoot lasers from his eyes goku dug vegeta's grave with an invisible key blast from his eyes it's just it's not something really special now i'll be honest danny you're probably one of the only people that i've ever come across that believes that this is all due to jiren with no help from the outside world such as the gods assisting him and stuff because as i said before i think in my opinion he the, the, the level of power that he's displaying 
had to have come from somewhere, some type of training, specific training that got him to where he is now. I think that, and you are right, I mean, we've seen several characters in the world of Dragon Ball as a whole before use their eyes to shoot out lasers and dig up holes and do all sorts of stuff, but Jiren's eyes were used to push back a spirit bomb. Uh, if you can name any other character that, that, that can do that, then by all means, but not only did he push back and condense a spirit bomb with his eyes, but he also creates this wall of energy that is seemingly impenetrable due to, you know, the idea that you have to be relative to him in terms of power to break through that. So I want to go on ahead and jump to Scale. Now, Scale, I wanted to get your thoughts on Jiren possibly training with the gods if you believe that it's just raw power, or if in fact you believe that he has trained with the gods, and your overall thoughts on him being able to keep up with Ultra Instant Goku, just seeing where you stand on that, if you believe that it, in fact he does know of it and possibly is using it, or if in fact he's doing something completely different that makes him who he is in this tournament. So like, what's your take on Jiren so far? Thank you very much for having me, Alex. I, I honestly believe that I agree with my peers when they say that Jiren trained with the gods, but I would go further. I would say that Jiren has likely trained with all three gods of his universe. I can likely see that Kai, uh, as the supreme guy, he likely introduced him to the training. Then Belmod uh, trained him and gave him his strength. And probably Margarita uh, did the final touches, like he, she probably refined his, uh, his power once he was satisfied with his strength. So it's like, I think it was a conjoint effort of all three deities, which is something that we have not seen in in the Dragon Ball franchise. Like, you have seen people training with the Supreme Kai, we ha you have seen people training with the God of Destruction, and you have seen people training with the Angel, but never with three of them at the same time. So I think that's what makes Jiren Jir uh, different. And I honestly believe that for Jiren to have attained that level of power, either he has been training for a very long time, or much like Frieza, he's a prodigy, and he has simply unlocked those steps, basically either as fast or faster than Goku, and continues to jump through level after level of power. There is no way that they could have obtained their their power through normal training, especially Jiren. Like, even the gods and the angels themselves, they cannot yet tell exactly how powerful Jiren is. Because he just continues to impress them feet after feet. But I noticed uh, the first weakness of Jiren is his personality, he's overconfident. Uh, he's extremely cocky, he's arrogant, he's pre presumptuous. And the thing is, we know this is Dragon Ball trope. Every time a character is winning and it's overconfident, that is their downfall. I definitely think that Jiren is not going to win the tournament. Because uh was on 111, he's underestimating Goku. You cannot underestimate Goku during a fight because Goku is the master of overcoming insurmountable odds and we know that there's no guarantee that Goku is going to pull through this one because Jiren is being portrayed as being damn near unbeatable but I think that all of the pride troopers so far with the exception of Topo, have displayed overconfidence and arrogance. Well, I will say you are right on the concept of him overlooking Goku because we saw during episode 111, he clearly stared Goku down and in completely disregarding him, he went towards meditating and just leaving everything up to Topo and Dispo next. So I think that to an extent, you are right. I think that I think Jiren did train with his gods, primarily the Hakaishin more than Kai, because I don't see how the Kaioshin could teach him anything. Perhaps maybe certain abilities as King Kai had taught Goku, but aside from that, I don't see anything significant coming from the Kai. However, I think that Vermut, unlike Beerus' relationship to Goku, was the one that helped, you know, Jiren train and become who he is now because you're absolutely right in the idea that looking at everything Jiren has been displaying in Dragon Ball Super, it's terrifyingly scary. It's like, who else 
do we put Jiren up against now that would have even Jiren's back up against the wall? And I will say that uh, I think that he does and he will display more power. I don't think he's gone all out yet, but I wanted to go ahead and get Spiral's thoughts on this and asking you how you feel about this. If you believe that he has trained with his God of Destruction, if not, why not? And if so, do you think that pretty much explains how powerful he is? by receiving training by his own Hakaishin, and your overall thoughts on Ultra Instinct and if you believe Jiren knows of it. I want to present two evidence to the table. First, um, from the exhibition match, uh, the the Kai, Bellmouth, and Margarita have seen uh, Goku's power when he first uh, popped his Super Saiyan Blue. Right. Uh, even the Universe 9, God of Destruction, Cedra said that his power right with the gods. But still, after after the exhibition match, uh, the Kaioshin from Universe 11, uh, Jiren's universe, uh, had a meeting with the other Kaioshins, and after that meeting, he had confidence that his universe was going to win. He wanted to uh, prevent uh, any casualties from happening, like he said so in the show. So, with that being said, I feel like the Kaioshin uh, clearly just uh, trained the uh, Jiren, and with Belmont, he has shown um, that uh, he's very confident in, in Jiren. I believe he trained with him during during the um. During the tournament, like the uh, special, Belmont has shown that he has uh, high confidence in Jiren, just like the way he uh, got up close to him in that little psych psychic ramble, whatever, that little mental state. He um, showed uh, Son Goku right in front of him with his uh, with his power, and then uh, J Jir Jiren just uh, took took command of his uh, his orders. I don't believe that uh, Jiren has uh, has God key. That's one that's one thing that has me because, like like Scale said, he could be a prodigy just like Frieza. Frieza has went through like uh like mental training in the other world, and you see Jaren has all, always meditated. Right. Uh, yeah, Velma has said that was his style. So if he's meditating now, does, does that mean does that possibly mean he's going to get stronger? Now that you brought it up, that's absolutely terrifying. And the idea that he might he might get stronger through this. But I wanted to go on ahead and thank all of you guys for your opinions for this because as you guys can already tell, everyone in this Discord chat has different opinions as to how they feel about this. But now I want to go on ahead and ask you guys down in the comment section below, how do you guys feel about Jiren? Where do you think his strength comes from? Is he a broken character? Do you think he knows Ultra Instinct? Like, what are your overall thoughts on this concept? Because there is still more to Jiren that we haven't seen yet and i will give you guys an exclusive i am going to be doing as soon as we get more information i am going to be doing a what if battle or several what if battles involving jiren and vegeto jiren and merge zamasu jiren and even beerus several other characters so make sure you guys are subscribed and tune back onto the channel for those videos next month as of course we're going to be diving more in depth of this but i want to also go on ahead and thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed make sure to go on ahead and slap a like down below big shout out and thank you to my boy infinite dynasty for creating that brand new sick ass intro i will go on ahead and leave a link to his youtube channel down below guys make sure you guys go on ahead and support him through that and again guys i will say thank you all so much for watching tune back in for more and i'll be seeing you all down in the comment section below have a great day everybody peace yeah!